So before we create a container in Azure using PowerShell, we'll need to connect to our account using the connect Azure RM account commandlet. I've already done that, so we're gonna skip that step. The next thing we'll need to do is to define what resource group we want to use. So you can see here, I'm using a resource group called Anthony underscore containers. And I'm assigning the output of get Azure RM resource group to the resource group variable. And the container I'm creating, I'm gonna be creating it using the new Azure RM container group commandlet. And the parameters you can see, I'm not specifying very many of them because I'm gonna rely on the defaults. I mean, this is a demo, so nothing too complicated. So the resource group name, name of the resource group, the name I'm giving it, just calling it super TS container. Uh, TS stands for tech snips. The image is just gonna be the IIS on a nano server. So Microsoft's web server, OS type windows, of course. So the DNS label needs to be unique in the region that you're creating the container in. So in this case, I'm creating it in West US too, because that's where the resource group is. And so super TS container better be unique in that region. We'll find out here in a second. So there you can see under the fully qualified name West US2. So I expand this out. So this is the same output that we would get from running git Azure ARM container group. And in this case, the provisioning state you can see is pending. The state is pending. So here for the git Azure ARM container group, I'm just specifying the resource group name as well as the name of the container itself. So if we run that, the output should be slightly different. Yes, provisioning state is now creating. Uh, you notice that it's, it's already defined uh, the fully qualified domain name as well as the IP address. So if we tried to connect to it now, it wouldn't give us anything. So we're just waiting for that provisioning state to, to get to succeeded. All right, and once the output of Git Azure RM Container Group shows that the provisioning state is succeeded, we wanna check and make sure the state also shows running so we can actually connect to the container. So I'm gonna take and copy this fully qualified domain name for my container. And let's go ahead and try to connect to it. So I'm gonna open up a new tab and just go ahead and paste that in. And there we go. So since the container I selected was an IIS, we're getting the IIS web page. So that shows that our container is actually running. So that's how you create a container in Microsoft Azure using PowerShell. Thanks for watching.